staying with us, Dick Morris, political analyst, author of the new book, Power Grab, which uh, has been flying off the shelves. And Dick, uh, hey, as we Andy, try to... I, I just checked the Kentucky law. Uh, it has not been changed. Uh, the Democratic House of Representatives has refused to pass it. So uh, Paul will be looking very aggressive, very closely at the state legislative returns in Kentucky in the hopes that they ta the Republicans take over the House where they can pass the law allowing them to run for Senate and President at the same time. Gives us another story to talk about tonight as we're together for uh, quite a bit of the evening here on Newsmax TV and a story to look uh, to look to in, uh, in the days ahead, just what will happen in Frankfort, Kentucky, J the state capital there. J.D., I, I think that voters and analysts are underestimating the impact of a Republican victory today. Uh, they're seeing it in terms of a conventional uh, switch in the majority status from uh, Democrat to Republican. I think it's much more significant than that. Uh, I think Republicans will win the majority. Uh, they may win it with a few seats to spare. But I think the impact will be, in effect, a coup d'etat, uh, in which essentially the power will transfer from Obama to the Republican Party. Uh, I think that the Republicans will pass a series of bills uh, on a wide variety of subjects, including uh, corporate tax reform, the Keystone Pipeline, uh, immigration, uh, securing the border, um, a, a, a whole range of legislation, uh, health care reform, uh, that will be very dynamic and very exciting and will really give the Republicans an agenda for the 2016 election. Uh, all over the country, you hear people say, what are the Republicans for? All they do is criticize Obama. Now, with control of the Senate, without Harry Reid being able to stuff the agenda, I think one after another, you're going to see a cascade of terribly important legislation emerge from the Republican Congress to go to Obama's desk. And I think it'll emerge relatively easily without a lot of internal fighting. I think voters will be very impressed with that, and I think the legislation will be so inherently popular that Obama will hurt himself with each veto. Or if he accepts it, he'll be diluting and rolling back his agenda. Well, so I think it really will be, in effect, a coup d'etat. Well, it sounds like perhaps uh, the Republican senators and those who aspire to serve in the Senate may have been reading your new book, Power Grab, because, as you say, if, th if this scenario plays out, it certainly does give the Republicans a chance to build on a Senate majority and confound the president. And it's an interesting, interesting term you would use, a legislative coup d'etat in terms of reseizing the, the dynamics of power. Back right. Uh, Larry Kudlow, uh, formerly of, MA, of the CNBC, uh, wrote a very interesting column to that effect, and he and I have spoken about it. And I think that you have bottled up in the House right now one House bills, one after another, that have passed the House of Representatives but never brought up for a vote in the Senate. And I think in short order you're going to see those passing the Senate when the Republicans take control and landing on Obama's desk. Now, the media has not covered these bills because they figure they're going nowhere. They're not going to pass the Senate, so they kind of don't cover it. But once they pass both houses and wind up on Obama's desk, his vetoes are going to become the key issue in the 16 election. And with each veto, Hillary is going to have to take a position on each of those bills. And the Republican agenda will dominate the rhetoric over the next two years leading into the election. Dick, that's going to bring us all the way back to uh, the sound we heard to start this segment. Mark Udall embracing an executive form of amnesty. Is that a, a sign of desperation on Senator Udall's part there in Colorado? Yes, it, it's a bid for Latino vote that he desperately needs. But I think that, uh, for example, the Republicans will probably pass legislation banning such an executive order uh, and probably continuing to build the border fence and probably requiring that immigrant children, child immigrants be turned away at the border. And the problem is that if that legislation reaches Obama's desk and he vetoes it, uh, it's going to be a very, very unpopular move. And Hillary will have a hard time following Obama into those issue positions and at the same time maintaining viability for 2016. 
we will have to leave it there. We want to remind folks that uh, they'll want to get a copy of Dick Morris's new book, Power Grab. That has been a great political bestseller. Uh, you can go to the website, powergrab411.com. And don't forget, Dick Morris, who offered some unique insights just over the past few minutes, will be with us tonight here on Newsmax TV for our election coverage. The midterms, you decide 2014. Our countdown at 7 Eastern, followed by coverage at 8 o'clock Eastern time.